What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we have a very special video. We were invited by the Zetacraft server to actually come and tour their world and it was absolutely incredible. The tour ended up being about three hours long so this is kind of a long video and I'm going to release a part two as well. It was really hard to edit these because the entire experience was just so fun hanging out with them and checking out their world so it was pretty hard to edit it down just to two 20 minute videos. I want to give a huge shout out to all the Zeta members though, all their channels will be linked down in the description below, and special shout out to Geek Squeak. Geek Squeak actually went ahead and made the Minecraft Hub Discord, he's been a huge help, and we're actually going to be working on a series together on our personal channels in the near future. That's it for me though, let's go ahead and get right into the world tour. Welcome to ZetaCraft. Awesome. How are you doing this evening? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. So as you can see, we are currently at our world spawn, which is imminently being uh, remodeled right here by Mindless. And a few other Zetas as well are going to be completely transforming this area into an awesome spawn hub. But this is clearly a work in progress. Well, I, I see the pillars going up. I, uh, I like the direction this is going. It's looking cool. Mindless is placing blocks right now. <laughs> so... But uh, we got a little gift for you here, uh, courtesy of the Bargain Box Bros. They'll Thank make you. your uh, trip uh, on the server here a little bit easier, I oh think. Oh my god. Full mending prop for armor. Yeah, it's going to be very easy. <laughs> uh, and I guess what we'll do is get started by checking out some of the builds on Zetacraft. Sounds like a plan. We are going to go into our nether hub to start things off, and the nether itself, you might notice, looks a little bit different than some nether hubs. And the easy way to do a nether hub would be to go on the roof of the nether, but instead we just decided to dig it all out oh and my start God. decorating the place. So this is all on half slabs, so it's spawn proof, and then the wall designs or a design from Mindless that we then re incorporated to go all the way around the room. And we're about three quarters of the way around right now. It's still an active project, but looks really cool, I think. Quick note before we get into the shopping district, unfortunately there is not enough time in this video to show off all the shops in the shopping district, but I'm going to show off as many as possible, and then in the next video we will focus on the main bases of all the players. Let's do it. Okay, so for Everybody watching, I'm a bit under the weather, so my voice isn't the best. <laughs> Take it away, and we'll just follow well, Geek wherever you want to go. You can hear me right now? Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. Welcome on the server. That's the first. Um, so, this is the shopping district. As you can see, I need to look around. We have a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, the Still actual talking. another portal here, the tower, was designed by Geek Squeak himself. Yeah. That uh, kind of... Decorate it up for our portal into the shopping district. I and, like it. I like it. Um, I like goofy stuff. So I like the working with the mushroom stuff uh, in the roof and I if like you the look at bridge, what I did too. The terraforming, the land right here is actually raised up. So he's made a little plateau here to put it on. So this is actually hollow underneath for yeah. uh, I did a, terraforming. The whole walls and everything just had to look good, right? <laughs> Did you do this custom tree too? This thing looks dope. Yep. Thank you. I love making trees. It's something I'm uh, good at, if I might say. Yeah, but, we had uh, a, like an IOU for a tree going away for a lot of diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then the actual here, square path here is a design from Mindless. Yeah. Uh, we had a little competition on the server and had our public Discord members vote for which design they liked best, and his won to be the design for our shopping district uh, square here. Oh, that's pretty cool. And this and is Geek Squeak's shop. Take it away, Hub Geek. Hubbity Goods. It's uh, like one of the first shops that started in the uh, shopping district, and I upgraded it uh, just slowly and added more stuff. So as you can see up there, there's a new shop. And yeah, if you, if you come, come look inside... Uh, I'll show you around. So my whole thing is hobbity themed. So I try to make everything look smaller than it is. That's why the ceiling is so <laughs> low. And we have a back room and everything for storytelling. And it's we got we got so much going on on the server. And 
as you can see, we, we have uh, a bulletin board, what, what we should do in Hobbits & Co, because we're a big company and I like, got a lot of people working for me. And one of the things, uh, we made it happen. <laughs> Done. Done. Exactly. <laughs> Check mark. <laughs> Perfect. So we have a lot of role play on this server, and that's what I like the most. So I'm, I don't put too much energy in building. I like the role play a lot, but the things I make just have a lot of details, if I may say. I'm liking the shop. I like this the roof pattern you did with the. Uh... And if you go inside, uh, yeah, you can see it's just the small oh, details. I you decorated the second floor. Yeah, Maya did it. <laughs> oh, it looks wonderful. Looks cool, Ooh, right? Wow. It fits so well. So we're selling... Uh... Yeah, what do you think we're selling here? <laughs> uh, I would have to guess CDs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are everywhere. Uh, then we can go to Hobbit. I think that's a good thing. Uh, Ricky made this building over there. Uh, it's a mini game I made. And I had an IOU of Ricky, and I told him to build this building. <laughs> yeah. So that's yeah. a little bit of story, right? That is a huge IOU. Yeah, the IOU was he needed an entrance building for his mini game, and I may have taken it a little too seriously. <laughs> but, but one thing that's really cool is the game itself. So I'm, I was working on a parkour game, which has multiple checkpoints. So it ends with an elytra course, as you can see already. But it's just a simple parkour game with a lot of details. All right, I want to point out, you said simple parkour, and it is nothing simple parkour. <laughs> this it's is a very bad. elaborate parkour course. <laughs> so you want to try it? The second line is the parkour game through? that will make you cry. <laughs> <laughs> and he described it as the simple parkour course. I just am terrible at parkour. Yeah, I am. So you uh... just use a color and then... And then I went on to complete the entire course. Or not. Double jumped. <laughs> just come uh, come along and you can see. <laughs> but so it is just out of beds, and we have a lot of details. I had some help with it, with like the armor stands and the Maya, uh, by Maya and my uh, quest to the armor stands. Yeah, so, mindless and Shadow did some help too. Be sure to watch your step over here. Oh yeah, used to die. And then we have Dio Sills uh, trees he built up here, which fit fit the. Uh, the oh, land yeah. here. These are cool looking. And then from there it goes into an ice cave. Yes. And then finally into a slime slash honey race course into the elytra course at the end. How simple it is, but it just worked. I didn't expect it to work so good. <laughs> oh man. Oh, we're missing a few blocks. It becomes but... a race. So, now, now it's um, important to note that your hibbity hoppity, this is my property, is a elytra free zone. I don't want people to fly in here because, uh, like I said, I, I don't work, work with big buildings and do gigantic stuff. I like the smaller details and perspectives, and that's mostly how I build. So if you start here, you will notice, if you just go walk down, how the perspective in my base works. Oh, yeah. Because if you're up in the air, all of this looks very small. But if you're down here, it all looks massive. Exactly. I like the little swing here. Thank you. <laughs> Your central tree looks awesome. Yeah, it really I, does. It, it really brings the attention to it the helps, center of your little yeah. hobbit hole here. It brings it to life, in my opinion. So everybody on the server got a holiday home. So I built little hobbit houses and they can decorate it themselves. My, my most favorite so far, and sorry, Rick, but... It's oh, it's fine. One. I agree. Maya's <laughs> is the best. <laughs> Don't mind the burned meat in here. But... <laughs> if you look in here, you, you'll know what I mean. Oh, yeah. This is cool looking. Ooh, a little little bunk cake there. Everywhere. So, yeah, that, that kind of was my base already. Your, your custom trees and just your sense of scale for the build... I think it looks fantastic. Like yeah, you have me too. absolutely mastered the Hobbit feel, and it makes me feel like I am in the Shire. I like the <laughs> custom trees that are around this too. It really makes it feel like it kind of boxes the area in and makes it feel even bigger. So uh, thank you for joining in, 
and uh, checking out my base. Yeah, thanks for showing it off and for showing me some spoilers. Oh, that was not me. It's just gonna it was not me. Break, breaking <laughs> everything. It wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Bring a guest on, he breaks a flower. No, I, so I see old, no old destruction, nice no put evidence. Fine on that tree and put something on it. On the, the tree in the middle? Mark your name on the tree or oh. do something you like. This is no pressure. <laughs> Got it. Wow. A awesome. little, little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a plug there. That's good. That's good. <laughs> but let's go to the uh, portal, and we'll actually work our way through the shopping district from all these shops. I think sounds good. This area definitely is where it's been hit the most from the most people at once, as shopping districts tend to do. Mm-hmm. Um, as we keep going around, the actual second shop to the server was the stick shop here from Maya Quest, which looks like a skeleton head. Uh, Maya is one of our resident uh, armor stand experts. I was going to say You'll this see one looks all really of the really armor cool. stand work all over the place, <laughs> but he sells uh, bones, glowberries, leather, tridents, just lots of miscellaneous odds and ends, just to make it a couple diamonds. As we continue around, uh, Maya also made our mailbox system here for the server. And we each have a barrel with our names on it. And then if there's anything in the mailbox, it will light up the light next to it. Uh -huh. Then also our little mountainside uh, billboard here to send messages or promotions uh, throughout the shopping district. And this is a uh, hide-and-seek tag kind of game underground where you have one person with a sword to try and kill the other two before a timer goes off. Oh, that's pretty cool. And we, we, we did a little uh, session for about an hour or so, a few of us playing this game. It, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> and as we move along, we're actually going to get to Time Architect's castle. And I believe Time Architect's here to actually pop in and be able to talk more about his castle work, because this is, I think, one of the coolest builds on the server. Oh, yeah, this thing's insane looking. Get a sky view of it. So, are are oh, you there, oh. time? Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying not to die right now. There's a little <laughs> lag going on. All right. So we'll meet by these uh, trees here at the front. This is where the shop begins. So there was a few other Zetas that had some shops here, and after I completed the castle, I was like, "Hey, is there any chance that I can either?" buy your guys' shops, or rework them to try to help the sightlines of the castle be maintained. And mm -hmm. of the three people that I asked, all three gave me different options, whether it be buy, move, or rework. And this is one of the shops that I reworked. So my inspiration for the shop was that I wanted a river to be down below the castle, and I thought it would seem fitting to have a water mill on here. So Ooh. I started off with the water wheel. Very fitting. I like it. Which one little detail that I might point out is that the origin for the river has a little bit of a funny backstory to it. So if you were to just kind of fly right up here, you'll see the giant like ice cave. Ooh. So when we, as Ricky had mentioned, we buy plots of land and one of the other Zetas bought this and he had put a billboard in here after I built the castle with the intention of doing so. Well, it was this ginormous, I'm not going to call it an eyesore of a billboard, but it wasn't quite where I wanted it to be <laughs> in that <laughs> sense. So I got with him, and he told me I could go ahead and rework it. So I made this ice cave that looks like it's melting, and that is what is forming the river. Okay, well, well I guess now we can cruise on over to the shop. castle. Yeah. So if we were to go ahead and continue up the path, to the castle, which, by the way, all of this is custom terraformed. Oh, yeah, I can tell. It, it looks very, looks very hollow nice. underneath. <laughs> and this will bring you up to the castle, which, uh, as of my last episode, has had a couple new additions. Oh, yeah, it has. So we have the horse stables right here that's selling horses and skeleton horses, as well as horse armor inside. It's kind of had a, a lot of fun following the theme of the castle as far as the wooden fortifications for the roof color with the copper and the various stages. Mm -hmm. You know, I wanted to kind of keep it so it wasn't too like bright 
and flashy because it's not supposed to be the main course per se. You know, the castle is it. Yeah. So I kind of want to keep everything more on the neutral tones. Yeah, so far these these two builds fit in just so nicely within the within the walls of the castle. I like it. It has definitely been a fun little challenge to try to make sure that the sight lines are correct, but then there's also the lifelike aspect that people have lived in the castle. Mm -hmm. Yep, I I have definitely not moved into the shopping district. No, not not at all. But this was a design by you and Geeks Week, am I correct? Yeah, so we kind of worked together to get the, the shape right, and then we just kind of uh, collabed it, and this is the end result. It like, is everyone a... has their procrastinating spot, and right up here is where I will tend to be to procrastinate. <laughs> if you see me up here, you know I'm putting it off working on something. <laughs> Chances are I will have shaders on just staring at the castle. Yeah, but but this, this is just our shopping district. I know. There's still a couple more to hit, <laughs> and then we get would, to go hit the bills. Would this be a good time to mention that the server's, what, three months old, Ricky? We started the first week of December. Man. So, yeah, we are very young server still. So now you can see why I wanted to make sure that the, the sight lines were all unobstructed to the castle. Yeah, definitely. Very beautiful well, view well, Ricky, of Terracotta Towers, too, from here. Well, Ricky, I'll let you show off the bargain box, and then um, <laughs> I just kind of want to talk about the tree a little bit, and then that's all for me until... okay my base sounds good so this modern style shop here is the bargain box from Cablecraft and Eisneroth the two of them have worked together and they are pretty confidently the richest members of the Zetacraft server uh ice or cable is our resident redstone expert okay and he is here to show off his diamond wares of course my goodness, Cable is just loaded with diamonds. Oh my god. <laughs> just to show how many he's made with their shops. But they sell basically all the things that we don't want to travel for, like the elytras, the armor, several of the books, and rockets, all of those fun things. And most importantly, the shulker farm. They have Ooh. the automatic shulker farm, and so... <laughs> It is quite profitable, I would say. Also owned by Cablecraft is our bookshop, which is this Japanese-style build right over here. This and it is. is a completely automated redstone bookshop where you put in your two diamonds, you find the left turn for the book you want, press the button, and it actually returns the book you want right here to this point. Impressive. Now... I have made the comment to a few people, and I will make it to you as well. Mojang, if you are listening, make it so we could do something like a beacon with the spore blossom where we can change the colors of the particles. Ooh, that would be very cool. You know, where it's like you put a different glass or something from it, like a beacon. Or maybe it's a recipe where you dye the spore blossom with a colored dye. Something like that. But allow us to change the colors of the particles. It would be just game-breakingly awesome. Now... This next big build here, we're not going to go inside because this is a work in project mini game. Sounds good. Uh, made by Megateca. And the description I was given is this is going to basically be a hide and seek with Ravagers. <laughs> Sounds and fun. That is the extent of what I know. <laughs> but uh, it, like it is a uh, five chunk by three chunk wide build that's dug out quite deeply inside and a lot of custom decorations going on inside but we're just i don't want to spoil that until that day is he's ready for that makes sense that makes sense i like the i like the little faces on the outside though this is ricky's reliable redstone shop where i sell all things redstone i like the the redstone dust that you've made up there i was i was very happy with that billboard sign but it's just, you know, lots of little miscellaneous hodgepodge redstone items and a perfect office up above with all my rare items on display. Welcome to Something Fishy, where he sells all of the fishes of the server. <laughs> so 
Tropical Fish, Oxalotl. It's just uh, uh, in the center auction here, we have the very rare blue Oxalotl being Ooh. auctioned right now. Current bid, 120 diamonds from Shadow Ginger. Man. So people really want that blue <laughs> Oxalotl. Guess the bid has just gone up to 200 diamonds from Geek Speed. <laughs> And if we come just across this little hill here, we have Hypnojo Gaming's Honey Shop, which is a little beehive on the top of the hill. And he sells honey, honey blocks, and candles. But I have to show you his secret stock room here. I've never seen this before. But he has used honey as the roof for like his little office and supply room. And when it rains, you get these particle effects coming through to kind of add a little bit of life to it. And I think this is like one of the coolest colored rooms where he's used the terracotta and the honey blocks. Yeah, this Just is really cool. Last, but certainly not least in the shopping district, we have Shadow Ginger's Potion Shop. Which is extremely decorative all throughout. I mean, every block in here has purpose for sure. Poor Shadow Ginger's probably trying to figure out what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> we're shopping. Well, I, I love the decorations that she's done throughout this build. Oh, yeah. So that is our shopping district. And uh, it's a lot to unpack, but we have some really cool shops, I think, yeah. overall on the server. Yeah, this place is very cool. But I think what we'll do is actually head to our nether portal and then start checking out some of the main bases. And unfortunately, that is all we're doing today for part one of this. I'll put out part two of this world tour very soon so you guys can see all the main bases of the ZetaCraft members. The bases are just as cool as the shopping district. There was so much to explore there. And I hated having to edit this because I had to cut out so much good content. But there should be a part two of this world tour very soon, so be on the lookout for that. And also go and check out all the ZetaCraft channels and their videos. They're all super fun to watch, and this is really just a great classic SMP to check out. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like on it. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.